can you build an entire nail career on gel polish alone? I'm really curious to know the answer to this. We're gonna talk about it right now on the Biz Talk. Tracy, it's early. Mm. Jorge is almost already tripped over you, mm -hmm. uh, fell through the window, mm -hmm. not the window, whatever, the back thing. To the window. Oh. And <laughs> window, the wall. <laughs> Hold it, give me a second. Okay. I need like half of this. Okay, yeah, yeah. drink your coffee, I know. Mm -hmm. um, but how do you feel about starting the day with... The, the Jorge, I'm going to call it the Jorge Madness. Jorge, by the way, you guys know he's our, he's a videographer and um, he almost like killed Tracy, I'm going to say. He tried to take me out with a mic <laughs> and then he just said a bunch of annoying things this morning. He like, threatened you? No, th threatened, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yes, yeah. saw that. And um, also, he is tired. He's tired. He he's said he's tired. tired. Yeah. Which is it's cute. Cute. And I'm it's calling cute. him Jorge Marie for now on. <laughs> <laughs> inside joke people inside joke um okay we're gonna laugh about that <laughs> jorge doesn't understand it nobody else does but it doesn't matter because that's how we're gonna start today's podcast now let us get to the topic at hand which i don't remember gel polish tracy uh -huh. this this is something that i think we've uh like we used to talk about this back in the day of um, I think this is when Greg and I were actually considering opening a salon. Or, oh, yeah, yeah. And we would discuss opening up a like gel polish bar. Mm -hmm. You know, only gel polish, come in and get your color, mm -hmm. in and out, boom. We actually looked at properties. Mm -hmm. I went in LA, I looked in Venice, looked at rent, quickly decided not to do <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> like, we're very, charging $3 million per gel polish. <laughs> We can cover the rent. <laughs> Every gel polish you bring in, <laughs> we're charging you. Yeah, no, no. It's um, it was it was insane. But quickly didn't do that. But the idea was like really attractive. It was like God, that's cool. Because then, you know, if you if you bring in your 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 tax and they only do gel polish, it it's sort of in my mind. I'm thinking it simplifies it. But the real question is can you actually build a full like career clientele off of gel polish alone? Is it possible? I don't know why this question annoys me so much. I know I think you I'm were annoyed just, beforehand. I, I was I did, like you, they go through, we go through like a list and I'm like, that just really annoys me. Why, why does it annoy you? I don't know. Maybe I'm actually tired, Jorge. <laughs> has no idea. Young guy, people young talking people. about how they're young tired. People. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I think I'm just annoyed today. Um, but this question, yeah, uh, it's a yes and no. Like it's a yes and no. But I think what I find annoying about it, this is what I, I there, there's a certain person I have in my head mm -hmm. that oh. I hear this from and, um, and it annoys me. Greg? Uh, is it Greg? No, is no, it no, Greg? No. Is, no, let's be honest. <laughs> He's like, dude, I want to build a gel pot. Like, right. And then you're like, Ugh. No. Uh, okay. So, it, it's a great question, and what, yeah. and for what you're 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 describing, like a, a uh, this is your vibe, this is your thing. You are um, a salon. You're you know you especially are gonna market the crap out of it. It's gonna be the pla the right. gel polish place to go. That's cool. I get that. But you have like you're building a whole business. You know, it's like uh you know. I'm a bakery, you know, and or a donut shop, and this is all I build around. And it's only glazed donuts. Yeah, it's right? exclusive and it's cool. And but as a individual baker that goes, I'm gonna just sell my glazed donut here. It's gonna be much harder yeah, to do. Right. So, um, I, the person that I hear say this a lot, or, and usually it's almost kind of the other way. It's like, I'm just going to do manicures, but it it, mm -hmm. it goes here too. It's kind of the same, same kind of thing. Same yeah. way. Is typically someone that is afraid of enhancements. So mm. the answer is no, you can't as fast. I see. Okay. So is it, 
if you're saying this and you want to just do gel polish, I, I have no problem with that. But is it because you're afraid of enhancements? You will build your clientele by yourself in, you know, if you're booth renting or whatever you're doing. If you're an individual in a salon and you just got out of school and you're just starting, if you're not offering enhancements, you have taken a lot of clients away. How many people, Tracy, is it like, I mean, I've, I've never... I've never worked in a salon, so I don't know. But when you have people calling or inquiring about services or, you know, when you were doing nails, was the majority, would you say, like people, they they actually want extensions? Or yeah, they want, they want enhancements. They want enhancements. Yeah, so when, when they see like nail salon, it's like, ooh, let me get my enhancements. Yeah, I want acrylic. I want gel. I want whatever it is. And so I, I, I don't want people to go, oh my God, why is she so annoyed by that? I, <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm annoyed because I, I, I understand it, I guess, is it that fear. If it's fear-based, I get it and I understand it. And I don't want you to be fe- fearful of building your clientele much faster by offering enhancements. Can you make a career doing gel polish? The answer is yes. If if you're willing to take way longer, longer time. or I'm a nail tech, I've been doing enhancements, I have a clientele, mm. I have whittled my client, not whittled, I have molded my clientele mol- more into a gel polish clientele by removing enhancements and bringing them people gel polish one by one. Right. M- you know, moving people around to build the clientele I want. I get that because it's like, I, I don't feel like doing enhancements anymore. I don't want to have to do all the filing. I don't want to do right. extensions. Right. I want to do a 30-minute service, a gel polish service, and I have have a clientele base that now I'm able to start molding what I want to specialize in. Yeah. Yeah. As a, like, fr- from a, um, th- this is so interesting to me because, like, it, it, the reason why I ask you that question of like, you know, when people come in, what are they asking for? Yeah. Is because like from a, I'm only thinking from like a business perspective, right? This is always where when you have idea and then reality. Right. Right. Yeah. Like the, in theory or in my, in my head, I'm like, Ooh, okay. Yeah. I would think that most, you know, women are just going to get, uh, a manicure or gel polish, right? Like the majority. And so like I could build, that's the majority, right? Right. In my head, it's like, that's the far majority. And, and so there's plenty of people, it's the minority that get enhancements, you know, but the thing I'm not thinking about is what about all those women that are maybe just doing their own at home painting because it's a manicure, right? Sometimes you can go to the salon. Sometimes you can stay home, right? Yep. For enhancements, you have pretty much, yeah, for the most part, right? There are those at home um, um, DIYers, oh, yeah, yeah. They right? Love doing it, and they do these amazing. They do amazing yeah, work, yeah. But for the most part, like you go into the salon, so then, but that's where, like, that's why I asked you that is because it, it's not until you you actually talk to somebody that maybe is doing it where it's like well a lot of people are calling they want enhancements and so yeah. like your market it's it's not what i have in my head yeah and and don't get me wrong if you've ever listened to me teach i consider gel uh, polish an enhancement enhancement right um but not we're not the extreme of acrylic or gel you know because you know a lot of people think oh it's just like polishing it's you know you know you barely you don't even have to prep you know yeah there's prep work there's stuff so right. i consider an enhancement to your right. to your natural nails um, but let's say even if it was 50, 50, Habib, it's going to take you twice as long to build your clientele. If, if, if you have 50% uh, if, gel polish, it, let's say 50% of the women out there in your area where you're a nail tech, okay, want, want, gel polish. want gel polish, it's still going to take you twice as long. Why? Why? To build your clientele because you've, you've cut your market in half. Oh, I see. Right. Now, right, 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 right here's right. the difference between you. Habib's special gel bar, right? <laughs> I like the name. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll send you a bill. Um, <laughs> Habib's special gel bar has done all kinds of marking. He has the coolest uh, front in Venice where he was looking. Um, it is the known place for gel polish, right? If I'm anyone in that entire fin- uh, vicinity, 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 got it. 30 minutes, Yeah, I'm going to be going to Habib's special gel polish bar. 
He has marketed it. He's done it. It's a whole establishment dedicated right. to it. It's, it is known for that. It's different. You see what I'm saying? You're drawing people from all over. Yeah. So, you know, the marketing is very important. Plus, it's a whole business dedicated yeah. to... I don't know why it's it's hard for me to explain why that's different, but it's a specialty shop now. It's a, it is no, no, no. You're you're 100 correct. Yeah. It's like it's like when you go get your car fixed. You know, sometimes you you drive by these. Um, I mean, now most people go to dealerships, but there still are you know auto shops where it's like. Why well, I, I guess I remember I used to see like radiators. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> muffler or, or or yeah, mufflers, yeah. and it's very very specialized and yep. that's what habib's special i don't know why you put special why can't it just be habib's gel polish bar but we'll talk know, about special. that later the special, You're just so special. <laughs> crazy habib's come get gel polish <laughs> um but but it is it is totally yeah a Where specialty it's harder for tracy who's in a salon to really put it out there that hey this is tracy special gel polish little right niche. Right, if you're in a salon, yeah, correct, yeah, it's gonna be di- it's gonna be different. And let's see, you know, if I if I went into our warehouse now, majority of them have nails, artificial nails, right? And and so again, you're 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 you know limiting, right? You know, so if you're in a salon and there's hairdressers and there's all these people coming and going, how many of the people? have enhancements just look at that right. itself how many are those people that are walking through that door that's sitting at different hairdressers spots that you can actually take because gel polish is what they want right 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 and the thing with enhancements too is like when someone if somebody's wearing enhancements they've probably been wearing them like at least my experience when yeah. I talk to when I talk to women, I'm like, oh, you have acrylics. Oh yeah, I've been mean, have you doing acrylics for? Yeah, I can't live without I was them. Yeah, can't live without them. Yeah. I hear that all the time. Mm-hmm. You know, once you start, you're now in that group, what? right? You're totally hooked, man. But it's not just gel polish either. It's it's the thing that we hear a lot. Do I need to offer acrylic and hard gel? Mm. Do I need to you know offer all these different things? And my my answer is yes. Yeah. I really highly recommend doing that at first. That way anyone that walks th- through that door, you're able to take. Then again, you can dial. You can dial it back. I only want to do hard gel. Okay. I'm switching uh, my clients now trust me. I've been doing their fills and hard gel. I'm switching them over. Those ones that don't want to don't want to switch over to hard gel, I've been slowly kind of removing them from my books and bringing the other people in. So. Yeah, yeah. It's like cast you cast a wide net, mm-hmm. you know, um, and bring in as many people as you can. Because building, a, we've talked about this. I don't know how many times, but like building a clientele is hard enough. So now that you're limiting. All gel enhancements, all acrylic enhancements. <laughs> it's going to be much more difficult. Yeah, it's the the pool just got very small. Yeah, and so I would what I would say is if you guys want to specialize in something, gel polish, for instance, that's amazing. That's great. Let's. How are you going to market that? But I want you to really ask yourself: Is this fear based? Am I too afraid right. to do the artificial? We can get past that, and everybody's had that. I had that. Um, Greg had that, Melissa's had that, Karen's, everybody, you know, any nail tech I know, whether they'll tell you the truth or not, had that fear. Let's just get past that fear. Yeah, and then if if you can do acrylics, or let's say you can do gels, or but this is, I don't know, it's an idea that you want, like you want to do the bar or Habib's special. They're stealing your idea. Take my idea, yo. Um, and, and, and then you're going to, like, you can do a specialty shop, put good marketing, make yourself known, draw people to it. I know I know I could do that, right? Yeah. Like, especially now with the marketing machine that we've built here at Young Nails. Right. I know for sure you can drive that messaging. We could drive that messaging of, of a specialty shop. Um, but, but that is an interesting question. You know, why am I doing this? You have to ask that, you know, like it's a, because I don't want to go down that road and it does, it's just good to learn. I mean, as a professional nail tech, it's good to know how to do acrylics, how to do hard gels, how to do a little bit of everything. I like to take everybody's money. (laughs) 
that's just my opinion. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it's like if, if you're a single uh, booth renter and try, I, I, I see what you're saying. It's like if you're a single booth renter in a salon in a where there's hairdressers and all this action and you're just going to do gel polish that's hard that's going to be tough it is different than you know uh, uh, a salon opening you know somebody comes in uh really markets and brands it as the specialty shop only going to do gel polish um services do you remember we went to uh you and i went to arizona there was this, 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 uh, these salons that were going to mm -hmm. open up. Remember that? Yeah. And we went and visited them. They were going to look at, you know, potentially using Young Nails products. They, I think they did enhancements, but the majority of services they did was, I think, gel polish. Yep. And, and so, like, that could work. I don't know whatever happened to them, but I, I, like, there's probably a better chance of that happening, like you said, because, you can put some marketing power behind it. It's like a, it's a place you go, but a single nail tech trying to build clientele off, it's going to be much harder. Yeah. You know what? I, I, I you know, this might be a bad comparison, but I, I imagine it like this. I'm a hairdresser in a hair salon and I'm only going to do men's haircuts when mm, I first start out. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I know, I know a lot of hairdressers that do only men's haircuts, but not at first. Not at first. They kind of, moved it that way eventually now i'm in a barber shop that's known for only being right. men's only right see the right the difference yeah it's funny because in there's um uh, that is so funny you mentioned that because there's a place in la that is like it's a men's barber Right. And, and, and it's the place, it's the place. Mm -hmm. And it's like, they've got great pricing. The only problem I have with it is I can't make a freaking appointment. They don't, they, it's just all walk-ins. They do not take uh, appointments. So, and it's always busy. Yeah. It's, and it's a small little place. It's a great spot. And, um, it's called active barbers, by the way. I think they're amazing. They do great cuts. They have great barbers, great vibe in there, but they're He's always trying to say that. So they'll get them in. <laughs> what, <laughs> get me in guys. Um, no, but every time I go, it's like, cause me, whenever me and Theo go, or I haven't gone cause my hair is buzzed, but when we would go, it was like, it's just, it, it's tight and it was hard. It's different. It's different. The other place that, um, that we go get haircuts all is also men's, it's a men's haircut place. So you're right. Yeah, I want know? a men's haircut. I'm yeah. gonna go to this place because it's known for. It's known for it yeah. exactly, and and that's I, I that's a great comparison I think to gel polish because it's, you know, it is 30 minutes. It's a 30 minute service. Mm -hmm. Um, it you, the place markets itself as that. Their menu shows that you can get a shave, you can get a this, you can get a shampoo if you want, but it's all men's haircut based. It's not like a salon or an individual hairdresser in a salon renting a space that's like i only do men's haircuts yeah that's with mostly women that are walking through the door with mostly women that are walking through the door yeah. absolutely so that that completely makes sense tracy yay let don't ever do that again <laughs> let us know in the comments below uh your take on building a gel polish only clientele and also let us know any ideas you have for future episodes. Tracy, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining us and we will see you next time on BizTalk. Talk.